Welcome, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading. Aries, it looks like you were kept from your true soulmate because of magic. And the, the person doing the magic was happy to wait. They thought that you were their soulmate and they were going to do whatever they could to keep you away from your true person in this lifetime. So it may have ended in a passing. Um, but it's not going to be for everybody. But stick around. Let's see where this goes. Aries, I'm going to get your energy. Then I'm going to get the energy of all 12 signs. Then we'll get into your oracle cards and then into your spread. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, give me the energy around Aries, please. The energy around Aries this week, please. There's justice. There's justice in celeb a celebration or an announcement, or this is justice for a third party situation. Um, I'm not, it even could be justice with reconciling something. So uh, let's see where it goes. But let me get another card on. What's the justice for the Three of Cups, please? The justice for the third party? Yeah, it was an option. So you're going to have justice for a third party option here. There was an option, illusion, confusion, daydreaming, whatever. Uh, but it looks like there was, you'll get justice for the third party. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. Give me the um, energy of all 12 signs around Aries, uh, around, uh, around Aries, please. Starting, starting with Aries, please. If you're dealing with another Aries... Um, someone's going to rush in with regret or missing you. Um, they're going to, this may be rushing in to speak a harsh truth. Um, and there's regret there. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, someone's looking at the past, uh, being patient, but there's an ending. So something new can begin. And if you're dealing with a Gemini, somebody's out in the cold because they were betrayed and something ended. If you're dealing with a cancer, uh, someone's try obsessed with making a decision. They're at a crossroads, but they're obsessed about making a decision. If you're dealing with a Leo, someone's waiting for a relationship or yearning for a relationship. If you're dealing with a Virgo, um, divine timing, there's a tower moment. Something's divine in divine timing causes a tower moment so time's up whatever this is you've got to do what's what's meant at this time so it's almost like you if you're a virgo you're dealing with it's time for you to step up that's the bottom line things are in divine timing causes this tower moment you've got to you've got to do what you've got to do uh, what you're meant to do now if you're dealing with a libra there's lying cheating stealing there's deception somebody's not speaking they're using their intuition they're keeping secrets so keeping secrets and being deceptive and sneaky if you're dealing with if you're dealing with a scorpio somebody's having a relationship with somebody uh with a with a taurus virgo capricorn if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, this emperor, so uh, Aries, Aries energy um, is going to be healing or, yeah, there's some healing that needs to take place with the Aries, okay? Now, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone's moving on because of juggling. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's some burden in a family situation and if you're dealing with a Pisces there's a new beginning in love and something that's going to be long-term and committed so let's get into your Oracle cards and see what comes up for you keep in mind you're going to get justice for a third party okay Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know, please? 
Okay, marriage. Okay, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Under the bottom, uh, star, hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and, and possibility. Or positivity, sorry. Sorry, positivity. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. Or Aries, please. What does Aries need to know? So the hard times are over. You may be getting married. You're, you're very happy about a situation. Um, transformation. There's a transformation that butterfly is blooming. Stand still. So there may have been a standstill, but now things are transforming. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries, please. What does Aries need to know? Life purpose. Wow. Okay. As above, so below. Okay. A talent. You have some kind of a talent and life purpose. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries, please. What does Aries need to know? The answer you need are coming. So whatever answers you need are coming. And then the conclusions are within reach. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries, please. Okay, peace. Okay, there's peace and fear. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Aries, please. Bogged in. Go slow. Take time. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. So you're protected. You have a lot of protection around you. But you have some fear. But there is conclusions are within reach. So Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. For Aries, please. Door to value. Okay, the fourth the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is about healing your heart chakra, opening your heart chakra so that you can give and receive love. Try it another way so we don't put the cards all over the place. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. Or Aries, please. What does Aries need to know here, please? What does Aries need to know? Material world. Separation. Material world. Like the 3D under the bottom of the deck is because of a third party. So you may have been separated some, from somebody in this lifetime because of a third party. Um, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance, or Aries, please. Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Cupid zero, falling in love. Uh, I'm sorry, have faith. Love is coming. Um, surprise, uh, invitation or meeting hesitation though. You're hesitant because you feel stabbed in the back, but there's a love call. Somebody expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know, and then you even got kisses, unconditional love, love, uh, loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So there may be somebody around you that you feel 
this is either you or your person stabbed you in the back because of a third party. You've been kept from each other, your life purpose. You've been kept from your life purpose in the material world in, in the, in the 3d, um, by a third party situation. Um, but you know, there is love there. There's a lot of love there. So let's see what happens here. I'm getting you need to open your heart chakra. You feel like you're closed off. Um, you need to do that work. This is definitely about you giving and receiving love. You need to know your value here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is about you're cherished by your angels. Take time. It, it goes slow. You're going to, you're going to get the answers. There's con the, the answers you're, you need are coming and conclusions are within reach. So whatever this is, you're going to know what you need to know. There's some kind of a talent that you have that has to do with your life purpose. Now talent, I mean, I don't know, you can be a psychic. That could be a talent. You could, you know, be somebody who can astral travel, whatever it is you have, you have some kind of a talent that has is, is centered around your life purpose here. Um, you were at a standstill about your transformation. So it like, it took too long for you to transform to what you needed to be to raise your vibration. Um, but you're, you're at peace with something. You're at peace with something, but there was a lot of fear around you. There's peace, but there was fear. Now you're at peace, but there was fear. So whatever, you know, the hard times are over. Okay. Now you're going to be pulled into like an, an unconditional love. So you're, you have unconditional love coming towards you. Holy spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Aries. What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know, please? So someone was blocking somebody, breadcrumbing them. They were blocking and breadcrumbing their pre-empress. Somebody single and abundant. This, this empress needs to heal. There's going to be communication. Somebody felt very stuck and bound in a situation um it could have been a third party ended so the third party ended and it took a long time for that to happen and king of, of cups the king of cups you know he's very loving and kind and caring but he can use your he can use your emotion against you and he also could have been self-medicating with uh either alcohol he always drinking yeah um i'm getting there was a lot of drinking self-medicating possibly um, this is Aries energy over here, the King of Cups. Um, it's normally a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I'm just saying the Aries is coming in as a King of Cups here for me. Um, working, holding on. He was trying to hold on, was trying to work at something holding on or holding back. Somebody from the past, very unhappy um, with a third party situation. In the outcome, Queen of Pentacles offered that love in a relationship. King of Queen of Wands. Toxic. Oh my goodness. Option. Okay, so you have somebody, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles could have been anybody. Um, they wanted that, offered that love and have a relationship that was stable, solid. But there was an interfering party here. Um, it, this this can be you, Aries, um, but I'm not feeling that this is your energy. Um, and um, I'm I'm getting the Queen of Wands is an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. But this was somebody who was a very toxic option here. But this is this is also could be that this. The, the queen of uh, wands can be a sorceress. You see that cat right there? There's a cat right there, okay? And and she was doing 
um, there was something toxic, but this could be an illusion as well. So, you know, this, she could have been doing ma black magic here. So this is how this was kept. This is what should have happened. This queen of, of pentacles, that love should have been given to the queen of pentacles. But like I said, you were kept away from the person you were meant to be with because of a third party interference. This third party was doing black magic here. Options, illusion, confusion, daydreaming, but illusion, toxic illusion, okay? By the sorcerer, the queen of wands. And I'm not getting that, that's your energy, Aries. I'm getting that that's a person that interfered with your, your coming in as the king of cups. Your person, that queen of pentacles, was really the empress here okay so you know they're at the opposite here this is who you were meant to be with okay but you were interfered with by this queen of, of wands and her magic okay so let's let's clarify this holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity and guidance for aries what was blocked love was blocked so see this this magic that was done they blocked love from coming towards from them to you or from you to them okay um breadcrumbed there's an apology there's somebody wants to uh, offer an apology for breadcrumbing because the love was blocked um the the knight of of wands the knight of wands is the emperor in the lowest vibration so wants to rush towards this uh, queen uh, or that's not a queen it's the pre-empress um wanting to rush towards this single woman who was very abundant um caused a tower moment something caused a tower when he tried to rush towards her now there was healing um somebody was trying to be strategic and not show emotion um almost cold about something that was long-term and committed um so he was very cold in a situation um needing to heal this is like long-term committed family you know having a lot of abundance but this person was strategic wanting to fight for a situation um it's like wanting to fight for that had a plan on how to fight for that but i was almost getting cold energy but I, i'm getting also fighting for fighting for something long-term and committed but he was kept away from it so the communication is i'm moving on and uh, he felt stuck and bound trying to take a leap towards this person see he was trying to take a leap towards the empress but he felt stuck and bound like his feet were glued to the floor kind of thing like he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't take that leap with the empress that's who he wanted to he wanted and he even spoke that this is what he wanted to do i don't want to deal with you anymore i want to i want to move on i want to move on so this third party up here he ends the third party, this third party wanting to reconcile, saying that they regret what they've done. Okay, but there was an ending. Um, now there's uh, there's justice for being the betrayed. I'm like, like this person was taken out, man. Do you see that? That's like, that's 10 swords in his back. This is almost like I'm not even getting, I'm not even getting um like just an ending with betrayal i'm getting that this person's deceased so this is like like it's like when he broke it off with this third party situation it, he had ten swords in his back there's betrayal here complete betrayal in an ending but there's going to be justice so you know it doesn't have to be that this is somebody who's passed on but it could be possibly could be so take it out resonates with you um it took a long time this magic okay long time that this magic kept him out in the cold that's what i'm getting there a long time that this it, it was a long time it, there, this may have gone on for decades okay long time that this person was um out in the cold the magic kept him out in the cold king of cups trying to balance something out very guarded and defensive um, not speaking using his intuition keeping the secret trying to understand the bigger picture here trying to understand the bigger picture 
king of pinnacles, wanting that stability, wanting that solid, stable, dependable. This is what he wanted. He wanted the stability. He wanted to look at everything uh, from a bigger picture, almost like bossing up here. But working, very anxious, very anxious about his children. Um, I'm, I'm just, oh, this is kind of really hard energy right now. Um, this is about someone was working hard, really working hard, but filled with anxiety and sleepless nights. Um, I, I'm, I'm getting, and, and I just instantly, I would have thought an emotional message, but I'm got like worried about his children's relationship, worrying about a relationship with his, the children, working very hard, worrying about a relationship with their child. Because there was somebody playing mind games or there was somebody that wanted to win at all cost. And it's almost like this would affect not only him, but his kids. So there's this very strong, um, you know, this person doesn't care. This person just wants to win no matter what. It's going to be an empty victory, an empty victory. So somebody's holding on for a new beginning. They're walking away. Oh, this is, uh, this is holding back from a new beginning, walking away. It's like he, he gave up. Uh, whoever this was, they gave up. And I think it was Aries gave up on something and um, was very unhappy about a third party. Could have been a uh, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Uh, see, Emperor Energy. Yeah, he wanted his Empress. See, you have the Emperor to the Empress. He was, he was very unhappy with a third party, and the third party was a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, I'm getting Scorpio Energy here for some reason. Um, but you have the the uh, the empress to the emperor here. He wanted his he wanted his empress, and he was because it was a burden for him, very much a burden. So down here he wanted this is what the outcome was. He wanted to have the uh, uh, offer offer that love in a relationship, but there was an ending, so something new can begin. But you have this person doing magic. And they're happy. They're happy that. Oh, okay. This is about being patient about their happiness with a soulmate or somebody they see as a soulmate and they're waiting and watching. Trying to get clear on something, being strategic, not showing emotion, needing that, wanting the truth about almost being smug smug about truth there there's there's truth but there's there's smug about the communication and somebody's resting and recovering from this choice needing to make a decision being divinely guided to an ending so aries that's all i have for you um if this resonates um please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe Hope you have a wonderful week.